everybody welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new welcome please like and subscribe and leave me a comment on anything that you're finding in your dollar tree store or one of your favorite christmas items you're finding so far yes christmas is out at dollar tree already um but this is about a week's worth of accumulation for me i've been to a couple dollar tree stores and um also got some things gifted to me uh, from my aunt and uncle over in the next county over uh, that they were able to find for me that was on my wish list that I couldn't find here in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. So let's get started. Uh, we're gonna start with some <clears throat> food items. Uh, it's getting to be fall, uh, cooler weather. So I thought it was time to make some chili again. So I picked up a can of the Hanover Pinto beans for my chili a can of black beans and a can of the dark red kidney beans i also in the food aisle picked up another pizza sauce because my uh, patio is finally finished and we've been doing bonfires and we're going to make some mountain pies so i got some pizza sauce and i got some pepperoni to put with that i also picked up um, a loaf of the bread there um, at the dollar tree but i stuck that in my freezer so I'm not gonna pull that out just for the haul, but um, so mountain pie season, um, chili season. Also in the food aisle, I picked up another one of the pumpkin, um, pumpkin seeds and nuts. I like taking these to the office, like I told you, these are really good. Um, they are 3.18 ounces in a bag, so you get about 10 to 12 pieces in the bag. <clears throat> I picked up a little can of the planter's peanuts. This is a good till June 14th of 2021, and it's a six ounce box, uh, container of them. I also picked up one of the, I never tried these before. These are um, the Pretzel Men Penny Sticks. Um, these are good till February 19th of 2020, and I got the Honey Wheat Little Sticks. Um, like I said, I, I usually get the Snyder's, but I can't find the Snyder's honey wheat ones um, lately. So I picked up a bag of these. Um, let me know in the comments below if anybody's tried these and what you think of them. And do you just eat them plain? Do you make your own dip for them? Um, but yeah, they're, they're little, little tiny sticks, so I'm anxious to try them. In the candy section, I picked up my favorite candy bar in the little fun size because I don't eat a whole lot of candy, but when I do, this is one of my go-tos, this and the peanut m and So I picked up a, a six-pack of the Baby Roots. I found the Cow Tails Caramel Apple. They are a four-ounce bag. They are the minis. Uh, it says it's a 12-count, so I picked up one of them. I was lucky enough to find two more of the soft Werther's caramel apples, so I got two of them. And I also picked up one of the original caramel creams, the, I don't even know how to pronounce that, but I always liked these when I was a child. So I picked up one of them, and this is a four ounce package made in the USA. I'm not seeing an expiration date on these, but they, they feel nice and soft yet, so I think we should be good with them. Uh, let's go right from food into the kitchen products I found. I did pick up one of the uh, Cooking Concepts meat grinders that people have been hauling. I finally found one of them. Um, I have some Calphalon and some non-stick pans, um, and I ruined a couple of them uh, using metal. So I wanted to get one of these, so I picked up one of these to use. I found one of the microfiber uh, <clears throat> home collections, two counts of the washcloths in the gray that have the scrubber on the one side and just the cloth on the other side. So I picked up two of them. My son recently, um, purchased his own home right next to me and he's in need of some plates and he, he's not much of a cook but um uh, so I, I picked up some more plates and bowls for him and I found the marbleized bowls the with the gray I thought these were cool so I picked them up six of them and I picked up 
six of the dinner plates for him. I was looking for the sandwich plate size. I couldn't find any in the same pattern. So I went ahead and just picked up the white ones with the little dots around them. And the bowl sits perfectly on them. And I thought it was a nice little contrast. So I got him six of each of them. And I got a three pack of the little, um, I'm not even sure what they call these, but they're little cups. I got a three pack of them. They are imported by Greenbrier. Along the same area for the holidays, <clears throat> I um, am doing the Thanksgiving dinner for my family. And I saw these heavy, really heavy plastic pumpkin shaped plates. And they have like a mother of pearl look to them. They are imported by Greenbrier. They're just called a tray. Um, I only ever saw these in one of my stores. So I picked up two of them. One is the same mother of pearl looking ir iridescent on it. And in the back is like a silver color. So I picked up two of them. I thought they'd be good for serving um, little part or little finger foods or desserts or whatever, but I, I thought they were cute. So I picked up two of them. And for our dinner, I'm somebody that it's more important to spend time with the family than it is spending time in the kitchen cleaning up and washing dishes. So this year I went ahead and got some nice paper plates. I picked up some of the oval um, thankful plates for our dinner. So I picked up four packs of them. They are imported by Greenbrier and they each have six in them. So I picked up four. And then I picked up the smaller party plates. Um, they have 18 in a pack. So I picked up one of them. And then I found the little dessert cups, paper cups to match them. There's six in a pack of them, so I picked up three of them, and I thought these would be good for the fruit cup. And I picked up two packs of the Thankful napkins and two of the beverage napkins. So we're set for plates for the holidays, for Thanksgiving at least. And also in the Thanksgiving section, fall section, I was able to find the Pick of the Patch Hot Beverage Cup. Um, it, I don't put these in the dishwasher. I wash them by hand um, for a dollar. They're, they're nice enough uh, to take to work or in your car. Uh, the gripper comes off of them for easy washing. Um, I probably only last a season the way I am with my coffee cups and stuff, but I, I thought it was cute, so I had to have one of them. And this was the only one they had on the shelf, so I grabbed that up. I grabbed a pack of the treat bags in the six count pumpkins. Um, but these are so cute because on the side, they have the black and orange check on them with little bats and stars. So um, not sure about trick or treating this year, but I figured these would be great to uh, make up little gift bags for the grandchildren for, for Halloween. I also found another one of the egg or candy corn squishies. So I picked up one of them, um, nice and squishy, and it pops back slowly. Ages three and up, this is imported by Greenbrier. They also had a ghost, which I hauled before, uh, a pumpkin and a black cat. Along the same line, I picked up one of the motion sensor witches. Um, I just thought it was cute, but it lights up and it laughs. So I figured I put, if we do have trick-or-treaters, I would put that right at the door. They had them in a, I, I can't remember if it was a ghost or a skeleton also available in them. Uh, we might as well stick with the holiday stuff. Um, one one of my, out of my five stores is actually putting some Christmas out. Um, so I did grab a couple things to do some DIYs with. Um, I found this ribbon. I collect elves, 
So when I saw this, I had to get it. But it's little elves' feet, and it said the elves made me do it. So I picked up one of them. It is nine foot long, five eighth inch by a hundred and or one point eight. I can't read it, but it's it's five or nine foot long. Um, I will be in, doing a DIY with this. I'm not sure what quite yet, but it will be incorporated in some of my fall or Christmas decor. I also found a bag of the foam scatter. They come with little trees, stars, um, Santa boots, and white snowflakes. They are imported by Greenbrier. You get 20 pieces in a pack. And I'm not quite sure what all I'm gonna be doing with that, these, but I bought some of those globe crooches and um, might be incorporating some of these in them. Um, but they will be used. I picked up, I, I love the smell of cinnamon. I love pine cones in the, in the fall and winter months. So I did pick up one bag of the pine cones. Um, they, they're very fragrant. I had them in the bag for about a week and all I could smell every time I went in my office were these pine cones, even though they were in a plastic bag. So I picked up one of them. I'm not sure if I'm just gonna use them to put in a candle holder with a candle in the center of them or what, but I just love the smell of them and how strong they are. I picked up two of the reef forms. It's a two pack and I was thinking, I'm not gonna use these for a wreath, but I thought about making a candle ring um, for Christmas. Um, maybe not just Christmas, but to keep out all winter long. So I, I was not sure what I'll use for them yet, but I just thought these, was, these would make good candle rings to DIY myself. So I picked up one pack of them. I also found these white LED light sets. I found them in the clear white. They are battery powered. You get 10 lights per string. Um, so I'm anxious to, to put some batteries in and see how these actually look. I did use some of these type of lights last year, not from Dollar Tree, um, but I'm hoping maybe I can even put them in my candle rings I'm going to make just to, to make it a little extra more festive. So I got two of them. I saw a lot of people hauling the Crafter Square Roller Cutter, so I found one of these today at one of my um, local stores. Um, so I'm anxious to get started with that. I figured these would be good for cutting materials or the puffy poster board, um, probably lots of different things. I heard they're pretty sharp, so uh, hopefully this will do the trick for what I need it for. I was excited to find these little trees. Um, they come with eight in a pack. Um, I was going to incorporate these in my little crooches too um, with a little elf next to them. Um, so I'm anxious to do some stuff with these. I'm trying to find the, uh, the fake snow yet um, for these, but um, I went back to get more of these and they were all gone. I don't, I'm hoping they come out with some more, um, but Man, when you see stuff, you gotta grab it while you can because you just don't know if it's gonna be there the next time you go back. I also picked up one of the little Charlie Brown trees. I know these are pretty sparse um, branch-wise. So I got um, wired garland ties to put in between so I can make it a little thicker um, and do my own little tree to set outside at my front door um, on this little stoop for the, the holidays. I also found three of, well, they had more than three, but I picked up three of these snowballs and they light up and I thought they were pretty cool. So I got three of them. They are very glittery, so I'm gonna have to spray them um, because there's glitter everywhere, but I just thought they were really neat. So I picked up three of them. Along with my elf collection, I found this one, Santa Elves, Santa's Elves See Everything. This is imported by Greenbrier. Um, you can DIY it if you want, you can take it apart, um, but I think I like him just the way he is and I'll probably just hang him on my wall somewhere during the holidays or, or by the tree. I might even hang him in my tree, I'm not sure. I have a pretty big tree, so. Um, 
he will be incorporated for the holiday season. I found one of the big um, thick wood piece signs that I can DIY. Um, not sure where I'm gonna display it or what, what I have a couple things in mind for it. Um, so uh, I will share that with you once I figure out what I'm gonna do and it, it's completed. I believe that does it for the craft slash holiday stuff. Um, my aunt that lives in York County was so gracious. I've been, I'm a big fan of pigs. I love pigs. I love pigs ever since I was probably in middle school. And um, I've been searching high and low for some of the pigs that I've seen people haul. I know this first set has been out for a while, but every time I find them in my stores, I can only find one or two of them. So my aunt picked these up for me in York County. It's the hear no, see no, speak no evil pigs in the, like the jade green. They are imported by Greenbrier. So I was lucky enough that she took care of me and, and picked them up for me. And she also found me the white set with the wings. Um, oh, I just love these. Um, so I got a set of each of them, the white and the green. So excited for them. And then one of my stores, actually, when I walked in, had about six of each color on their shelf. So, of course, I grabbed them while I could, and they were the stand-up pigs with the wings. And I just think these are adorable. The pigs look like they're kind of smiling at you. So I got one in pink, one in white, and one in black. And then when I was walking through the store, I might have been in there about 20 minutes and I noticed the black one had a chip out of his ear. So I went back to where I found them and there was only one black one left out of all the six of each color that were on the shelf. So for some reason, these are flying off the shelf. So I was just excited that one of my five stores actually had them. So I picked them up. Uh, we'll move on to the health beauty slash um, home goods. I was able to find two more packs of the cleansing wipes, cleaning wipes. I like to take these to the office. I also have a pack in my car, um, but just to wipe down my desk um, in the afternoon or morning before I start or when I leave um, and in my car, just so I have something to uh, wipe my hands on and stuff. Um, they are not antibacterial, but well, they do a good job cleaning your hands if you have dirty hands or or whatever but uh so I picked up two more packs of them I found the assured hand sanitizer in the lemon scent so I picked up one of these these were made in China not Mexico so they aren't the ones that are recalled from what I'm hearing so I picked up one pack of them I found a new hand soap that I've never seen um, in my stores before called Lucky Super Soft. I, they are 13.5 fluid ounces and I found it in the Berry Medley and one in Peach Dream. So I picked up one of each of them to give them a try. Um, I haven't opened them to smell them yet, but um, I'm sure they'll be fine. And uh, that's a good buy for, for that size bottle of hand um, soap. I also picked up a foaming bubble bath. This is a 20 ounce bottle um, imported by Greenbrier. Uh, my granddaughter informed me that she's out of bubble bath and needs a bubble bath. So I picked her up a bubble bath and if she likes this, hopefully I can find some more um, for her Christmas stocking. But this is in the, the watermelon scent. They actually had tons of the alcohol um, and not that I'm desperately in need of some, but I have one bottle and it's probably three quarters empty by now. So I figured I might as well pick one of these up. Um, it, it does not inspire, expire till August of 23, so plenty of time on them. Um, but my store was only still allowing you to get one at a time, so I picked up one. I also found a spray bottle that I'm going to make, probably put some of the alcohol in here, um, just for probably to keep him 
like to spray my car doors down or my steering wheel down. Um, but I know not to leave it in my car, but at least I'll have it. I have a tote that I created to carry back and forth to my car with some of my work essentials that I need um, <clears throat> for the storage facilities. I manage um, clipboard and tablets and pens and receipt books. So I'll just put that in there and that way it'll always be with me when I need that. I picked up one of these. It was the only one I saw. It's by uh, Drew Barrymore's collection, Flowers. This is a lipstick in... The item number is LS7. And it is says on the side, it's proudly made in the USA. Um, I'm not normally a lipstick person, but I thought the color looked really pretty. And um, if it's not glossy, I can put some clear gloss over it to shine it up a little bit, but I picked up one of them. And then I found this nail polish holder. I don't know about anybody else, but whenever I do my own nails, I end up tipping the bottle, it gets on my pants or whatever. So I thought, well, this is pretty cool to uh, be able to stick this in between your your hands and put the bottle inside and you don't have to worry about it spilling. So I picked up one of them in the pink. And I also found the face cleanser scrubber that everybody's been hauling. Um, it says on here, you should replace it every 30 days. Um, I only picked up one cause I just wanted to try it. Um, normally I just use the sponges and stuff to cleanse my face, but I thought, well, for a dollar, why not give this a try? So I picked up one of them. I also, in the home and um, the tool bench area, I guess it was, I picked up one of the six foot extension cords. Um, with the holidays coming up, I'm gonna be plugging in some lights and stuff, so I figured I might as well grab one of these while I could. Um, but it is six foot long, so picked up one of them. I also picked up in the essentials, the large vacuum seal storage bags. I have gotten some of these at like Bed Bath and & Beyond and they're expensive. So I thought for a dollar, I'm gonna try the Dollar Tree ones. Even if it only lasts me one season, at least I can get some of my seasonal clothing packed away in my closet and condense it down. So um, I'm gonna give these a try. I don't know if there's any other sizes. This is the only size my Dollar Tree had that I could find. Um, but this is the large and it says it's 17 and a half inches by 27.5. I picked up the absorbent microfibers cleaning cloths. I thought this would be nice to take to the office to keep my, uh, I have a dual, um, computer screen at work so I got that to keep my screen dusted off I also found in the cleaning aisle some of the medium reusable giant glove or reusable um, gloves you get one pair and it says they're heavy duty protects hands while cleaning dishes um, kitchens, bathrooms, floors, and other household projects. So I picked up one of them. And then my last item that I have to show you is I saw a lot of people talking about these Snugadoos, um, the little socks that are out. And I noticed that uh, some of them have little um, rubber grippers on the bottom and some don't. So I picked up two pair that did. These are in... The adult size, I picked up the yellow with the blue, and I picked up the gray with the little white heels and toes, and they both have the grippers on. They are so soft, hopefully uh, they hold up well, but a lot of people have been saying good things about them, so I decided to give them a try as well. Okay, that would be it for my Dollar Tree haul this week, guys. I hope you have a great week ahead of you. Um, stay happy, stay healthy, and please don't forget to like, comment, and sh please share. 
um, gets my YouTube channel noticed more and it gets YouTube will know to share it more and get it out there more. Um, but I just wanted to thank each and every one of you for stopping by and we'll see you the next time. Have a great week. Bye-bye.